Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Take, Take one. one. Hey guys, what's hey guys. happening? How you doing? It's your mama, your nephew, your cousin, them. Oh, Kirk Franklin. Oh, Kirk Franklin. We're going to put that video, just link, in case you yeah. haven't seen it, because there are a lot of people that have not seen it. We're going to put that link in this. Absolutely. We'll send it to um, our administrative secretary, beautiful Jordan. She will send that out. Include it. Yep. Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, if you're watching this on Tuesday, if you're watching this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever you're watching it, uh, we certainly want to say we pray that God's best uh, blessings uh, have been your reality this week yeah. and that um, that you have had a fantastic week or will have a fantastic week. Yeah. So these are your announcements. These are your announcements. We had an amazing week. time on Sunday. Sure. Um, God is restoring families. He didn't just restore. He's restoring. So that means it's a continual process. Their families being restored. Um, pastor gave a challenge yeah. to the men to be up at 6 a.m. There were some men up this morning, too. I believe it. I, I felt it. You felt it? Yeah. They've been up this, you know, Monday and Tuesday. They was up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So, they've been up this week. They've been up. Hallelujah. So continue to stay up, men. If you were not at church, Pastor did give a challenge to the men of our ministry to be up at 6 a.m., because he wants you guys to be the priests and the kings of the household. So that was super fire, especially talking about um, family. So that was good. Also, to everybody that gave a purse. So the woman who was over the event, she came to grab the purses um, at the after the service of 2 o'clock. And she was so grateful. You guys did exactly yeah, what I needed. Out. I just needed 25 purses, and you guys did that. Purses were filled, and if they weren't filled with things, somebody put money in some mm -hmm. of them. So I just want to say thank you. Those women will never be the same, and that's what I love about our ministry. When there's a need, we come together, and we make sure. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. You'll be hearing the testimonies about that um, from Elder Fran when she uh, passes those out. For sure. I think there was closer to 50 persons. Really? <laughs> Um, so yeah, so uh, let's get started um, with announcements for this week. You know what our Wednesdays look like. That's right. Uh, Wednesday morning, we got 6 a.m. prayer this That's week. Right. Uh, I believe uh, Shay Shay, uh, Shay, is, Shay. Uh, leading prayer this week. And so uh, we're excited uh, about uh, that time in prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, men, so obviously we, we're supposed to get up at 6 a.m., but anyway. our men week prayers at 6 a.m. Uh, so I would just ask after you complete... Uh, our midweek prayer time. Just you know, say a quick prayer over your home, yeah. uh, just to ensure that we can. Unless you want to get up before six a.m. prayer uh, and knock it out. Uh, but then we got midweek refuel. Hallelujah, um, seven p.m. And you know, we got so much the Lord has given us. We got three quarters of a sermon to finish from yesterday. If we so, if that's what God wants, or. You know, to There's really also dig into some, some deeper um, stuff that I do believe he wants. We get so stuck on generational curses that we never embrace that our family line is connected to blessings. Mm -hmm. And so we have to do some digging to see what is is my family purpose for in the earth. And so we're going to really dig into that because we don't want to get addicted to how horrible our families are. We want to start speaking life into mm -hmm. what our families right. can be. So. That's right. So that's going to transpire Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Uh, so make plans now uh, to be with us. Uh, because I'm telling you, if you're intentional about it, yeah. uh, no matter what gets in the way, uh, that thing, you'll, you'll still make it and Absolutely. press through. Absolutely. Uh, a little quiet, pretty quiet week other than that. Yeah, but we're going to make sure that we remind you of prayer on September 30th. September 30th at 5, 5 a.m. Make sure thine butts are awake. Yep. Listen, I'm not going to judge you if you come with a bonnet, <laughs> but you want to come before the Lord. Yeah. Make sure that you come correct. And so, you know, just be there at 5 a.m. Y'all know your pastor, this one. She'll probably be there at 3.30 a.m. setting the atmosphere. Um, but please make sure that you are there at 5 a.m. We will give assignments when you get there. So be ready, whoever, to, whoever comes, to not just come and sit only, but to also open your mouth and pray. Yeah. If you need to bring your children, bring, bring them. them. Um, we ain't going to shut them out. They need to no. learn how to pray too and That's be in right. that atmosphere, That's in that right. environment. So 
Um, you know, don't allow that to be a deterrent. Uh, and if we need to have coffee there, we can certainly make arrangements to have coffee there. For those of you that like coffee anymore, we just want to make sure that while we're there, yeah. um, that we can spend that time together Absolutely. Uh, and hear from heaven, Thank you, but also petition heaven. So yeah. September 30th, if you haven't put it in your calendar, put it in your calendar at 5 a.m. Uh, because we look forward to seeing each and every one of you there. Is All right, guys, the Love Lounge is yes, approaching love lounge. December 2nd. I can only say this in true love. If your name is not on the list, it's free. You don't have to um, pay for anything. This is my Christmas gift to the Women of Union. Yeah. Now, Women of Union, if you do not <laughs> get your name on the list, I'm sorry, it's going public in October. And there's a lot of people that have been asking, Pastor Lex, when is your Love Lounge Christmas edition? So you have been warned kindly. I might send out an email to remind you, but please email coachlexcoffee at gmail.com. Get your name on the list because once we're at 50, because that's all the caterer is making food for. All right, so you heard it. Get your ticket, email, Hallelujah. don't hesitate. Save the date for Save the, date. Um, the ministers and elders. For our elevation service mm -hmm. will be on the last Sunday in October. <laughs> Would you like which to is October 29th. That's right. Uh, October 29th, their morning worship. We will uh, consecrate and elevate uh, two, three ministers yep. and two, two elders. elders. And so we're excited about that time they have. I've been diligent uh, throughout the past year. Pray for year. them because they got yeah. their final exam coming yeah. up. Yeah, and pray for them too because anytime there's uh, yeah, time elevation. for elevation, uh, certainly hell is not happy and yeah. uh, attacks are imminent. And so, um, But we are excited to elevate them and to see them walk uh, in the next level that God has for them. So that's October 29th during our regular morning worship. And also this week's um, practical tips or what we're doing challenge is we're journal we're going to make sure that we journal every day but in your journaling journal what you blamed others for in your family remember we talked about sunday that you know we don't play the blame game what have you blamed people in your family for for your attributes your characteristics Spend intentional time with your immediate family. A lot of families don't sit at the dinner table anymore. A lot of families don't watch TV or just love on each other. Spend some intentional time with your immediate family. And yes, Aunt Di, I'll be over there to sit with you. <laughs> um, reach out to a family member that the relationship was kind of breached. Make sure that you do that this week. So that's our challenge for families. And week. that'll be included uh, in, this. in the email where this mm -hmm. link is. So, all right. Well, we're going to get out, nope. out of here. Nope. nope. Well, Timber, baby. I know. But I'm trying to I'm trying to let everybody be great. It's most timber because Kai Kai got a birthday. When you see these announcements next Tuesday, I, we are going to be right smack dab in the midst of my birthday. That's right. You want to open your gifts in front oh, of the people? Oh, glory. Everything I got you? Yeah. On, you want to do it on announcement? No, I'm going to no, do it No, you might hurt my feelings if it's not cool. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. You give the best gifts. I'm not even worried about that. Happy birthday to all September babies. Uh, we we hope that uh, you celebrate your birthday. Yeah. Uh, you celebrate this month because coming up is Tiff Tober. Tiff Tober. It's Tiff Tober. Only you know, Tiff has taken over the month of October. That's right. But, in the meantime, we're going to finish out Motember and we hope and pray that uh, that everyone's birthday this month was one that uh, was memorable yeah. um, and that brought you a tremendous amount of joy. Shout out to Sister Vaughn for sending birthday cards to everyone. I got mine. I love that. Please, if you don't, if the office does not have your birthday, make sure we get your birthday because you want one of those beautiful yeah. cards that the um, beautiful Sister Vaughn sends out. I love our church in Jesus' name. That's it. All right. We're up out of here. Uh, oh, happy. you got on a shirt with your yeah. mom. If you need a word from the Lord today, this is your word from the Lord. You need to get start giving God more of your time. And with that, we love you. There's nothing you can do about it. This is God bless the children. And cut. <laughs>